Hi you guys, my name is Mr. Leo. I'm an art teacher here in Mira Mesa and a studio artist. And these are some of my paintings out there. Um, so today uh, it's Hickman's Crazy Hair Day. And we are also supposed to wear um, school colors. I don't have that many colored clothes <laughs> and I don't have any hair. So uh, I'll have to excuse myself for this one. Uh, the tools we'll need today uh, are a pencil, eraser is optional, and an ink pen or Sharpie. I asked if you guys could grab uh, something to color with, um, like crayons, markers would be fine. Uh, if you have paint, that'd be awesome. Hi Jude! Uh, what I'm using today are just these Crayola markers. I think they'll do because we're making a rainbow. And we're making a rainbow because it's, uh, it's kind of what a lot of other people are doing all across the nation. And here's an example of one. This looks really beautiful. I think this is color pencil. Or no, not color pencil, sorry, watercolor. And um, and people all across the nation are making these rainbows and putting it on their windows because we're not allowed to be near each other. But then people are still able to walk around and the rainbows are kind of uh, a beautiful thing that helps us uh, feel good about our surroundings, right? So we will get started. Let's go back to our paper. Uh, this time, we'll turn our paper to the side. And let's get our pencils. We'll start from the bottom and we will draw a small curve. We'll do it from the bottom on one corner, go up. It's a it's an arc. This shape is an arc. So that's one arc and it's pretty small. And I forgot to mention that it was Anna and Ezra that gave me this idea who are with us in the room today. So thank you Anna and Ezra. Now let's make another arc. So rainbows are pretty simple. I'm sure you guys have made many rainbows already, but it's still good practice and it's fun. So that's one arc. Let's make another one. So one, two, three arcs actually makes two colors for us, right? One, two. Let's make another. Three. One, two, three. Let's make another. And another. We'll do the last one here. I think this one's kind of small. So I am going to start my rainbow by putting red here, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six areas to color in. Okay. So once you have six areas to color in, we will switch our sketching tool for our drawing tool. I think this time I'll use a Sharpie. So let's go ahead and draw out 
our our arcs here. So that's one arc, two arcs, three, four, five. Six, I'll do this last one, seven. Whoa, almost lost my rainbow. All right. Hello, hi Marcus. Good to see you, or good to have you with us. I'm gonna wait for my marker lines to dry a little bit. We'll give it a second. Let's get our erasers out. I think it's a good time to erase our sketch. That way when we color in our rainbow, it won't, um, it won't uh, just seal it on there. So let's go ahead and erase our sketch marks. So our rainbow looks nice, clean, and pristine. All right. Okay. First, I'm gonna use my red marker and the red will go on the bottom here. Our very first arc. Let's color it in. I don't mind if you use paint, watercolor, markers, color pencil, as long as it makes the color we need, right? And let's color in the lines. There. And the rainbow is actually really good to, to uh, use as practice for us to learn how to work on the color wheel. So let's get our orange color and let's put it on the next arc. An easy way to remember what colors are on the rainbow is if you, I'm not a singer or anything, but if you sing it, oh, the next color is yellow, by the way. If you sing it, it's easier to retain uh, information. So it would be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. That's a really easy way to remember our colors here. Okay. 
My yellow is almost out. I think that's okay. Yellow's a really light color anyway. <clears throat> Red, orange, yellow, green. Get that green out. And thank you guys for joining me today. Oh, this green's not not doing very well. I'm gonna switch to this one. It's a little better. So a lot of other children are putting their rainbows on their windows. That way when people are exercising, it kind of spreads cheer and hope. And that's kind of what rainbows in nature does for us, right? After it, it's a gloomy and rainy day, and we see that rainbow, we get that, that feeling that, wow, that exalted feeling and that feeling is always good to have especially if you're able to create that feeling with art that is highly desirable so red orange yellow green and the next color is blue Wow, that is a very dark blue I have. That's okay. Hi, Janae and Fate. So again, if you're coming in late, we, I'll save the recording. And we're making these rainbows that we can hang on our window to spread cheers to our fellows outside that we can't be near. Oh no! I hope your internet gets fixed soon. It'll be extra lonely without internet in during uh, this self-distancing or quarantine, whatever, whatever they call it now. They can't send uh, someone to fix the internet. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Next color is purple. Let's get this nice purple color. Ooh, I like this purple. Purple is a beautiful color. So after, after quarantine, we'll feel, I think we'll all feel really happy to go back to our lives. Just like when the rain passes and we see a rainbow. Hope that technician comes in soon for you guys, Fate.
All right. That's my rainbow. I feel like it needs a background color. Or we could write a hopeful message. Uh, maybe we can write... You don't have to copy my message, but I'm getting my pencil and I'm just writing take take care so if a passerby sees this on my window they'll know I care about them a little bit <laughs> so take care and then exclamation mark and a little little heart right there take care so you could put your own message. I'll get my ink pen. Hmm. Maybe we could use different colors to draw out these lines instead. So I'll do that. I'll use my red one. And I'll use that to make my T. Take red. Then I'll go orange. Use yellow. That one's not that good because you can still see the pencil line. That's okay. Green. Take. Blue. And then purple. And since I have a few more letters, I'm just gonna go back and repeat the, the colors of the rainbow. Red, orange, and then yellow, which doesn't really show that much but that's okay so that's my message for the outside world I think I'll sign it on the bottom right too I'll just write mr. Leo and 2020 Okay guys, so that is our class for today. I just wanna show you guys one more thing. Look it, if you guys color your drawings, please share them with me at Leo Angelo Art. And uh, share your rainbows with me too. Uh, and next class, we're gonna draw uh, some really neat things. Uh, hope you guys join me again for, uh, for for next class and uh, have a good day. Keep practicing. Bye. <laughs>
Awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna hang mine too. And uh I'm gonna I'm gonna share some art with my fellow Mira Masons uh soon. I missed today's first one. Oh, uh today we only had this one drawing of a rainbow. Um this is so we could hang it on our windows. And don't worry, because we're saving the recording. Uh so you, so you could find it on this page and you could also look me up on YouTube. I upload these videos uh, there at Leo Angelo Art. Thank you, Lexi. Uh, it's good having you, thank you. You're welcome, Anna and Ezra. Thank you guys for sharing your your rainbow idea. I think it's a it's a really great idea for us. Thank you, DJ in Brooklyn, for coming. Oh, and if you guys have any uh, ideas for what you guys would want to draw with me for our other days, just leave them in the comments below, would you? Yeah, I'm saving saving that one for later because that one I really like. We could probably do that once a week, maybe. Endangered, endangered, ah, endangered animals. That's a really good one, Fate. <coughs> <coughs> I was actually thinking about um, uh, the maybe animals with uh, with special superpowers. Because you were talking about chameleons yesterday, remember? I guess we could do food friends again. There's so many foods. Hmm. Draw a race car. Maybe we could do vehicles, race car, boats, airplanes. Okay, thank you for the idea, Neha. Today's class was so quick. Wonders of the world. Ah, that one might be difficult, but I think I think it would be really fun anyway. Hmm. Yeah. No, that's actually perfect. Racing vehicles. Okay. Thank you guys for the suggestions. Yeah, tigers are fun. I'm keeping a, I'm keeping tigers in mind for sure. Oh, yeah. Like if we were to make a Google Doodle. Huh. So, we would have to do the text together and turn that text into something interesting. That's a good idea too, Fate. I'll keep that in mind. Okay guys, I'm gonna sign off now. Um, all right. Yeah, oh, that's so good, Neha. 
Ah, what if we combine that? Uh, like a, the Google Doodle, where we draw in the text, and then we put our uh, uh, essential personnel on each of those letters. That would be amazing. Oh, yay. Good job, Olive. Yeah, we could all use a bit of cheering up these days, so anything helps. I'm sure people walking by will find your artwork beautiful. All right, I think that's everybody. So I'm going to sign out again. Thank you guys for drawing with me. Uh, keep practicing and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 9 a.m.